and I believe you enjoyed it. His name is Benjamin. Should I continue? Gazi Mensa. Straight up. AKA <laughs> Mix Master Gazi. The baddest, the most wanted. The most wanted. <laughs> What's the deal? Hey, I swear. Hey, I like beats, <laughs> Muki and Kong. No, 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 never. Unto me. Unto me. Unto me, okay. How did they all start for you? You know, we started this thing way back now. And even till now, what people see Master Gazi say, oh, so. Is this guy is like yo cool like you know we taught some mm -hmm. old man be right you know because we started way back and you know we put ourselves in whatever we are doing we make sure that you know it's at heart because it's a business it's a work as well mm -hmm. although you go to school you go to this you know you will learn science you want to be a right. bank manager all that, but then <laughs> it's all work so whatever you want to do you have to just put yourself in and do it well so mm -hmm. that's what has you know taken me this far 2021 wow. we are still here wow and um, what year did you begin yeah, that should be around 20, 28. 28? Yeah, 2008. Yeah. So 13 years now. Yeah. Wow. Solid. <laughs> anyway, we will come talk some more music yeah. and then how this whole thing started. But you know we are celebrating women across the globe. Yeah, today. Mm. Uh, is it today? That was yesterday. Yesterday, but yeah. we are still continuing. That's why I'm in pink, actually. Wow. We are still celebrating. Do I have pink in mind? No. no, you don't. That's fine. So, you know, women are special, you know, we mm -hmm. all appreciate what. Who's your superwoman? My superwoman? Mm -hmm. Like, should I mention her name or something? Yeah, would want to appreciate Oh, her. her name is Sophia. Okay. Is that um, your mom? My mom is Abna. Ah, yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm interested in the combo. Yeah. Your mom is Abna, yeah. but your spot woman is Ifia. Yeah. Okay, I think we all know who Ifia is. Yeah, hey, everybody knows that. But it's not, is it Ifia Schwarzenegger? No. Okay. But you know, Ifia, Ifia, you know, mm. Ifia Schwarzenegger is, okay, was already married now, you know. But, but she's then, single, so, you know, it oh, could be. okay. Nocturnal? Not. Okay. Which other Ifia do we have? Sister Ifia? Not. <laughs> okay, the Ifia, the other Ifia. Yeah, the other Ifia of oh. my Ifia. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Ifia. Hi, Ifia. Hi, we are celebrating you here. <laughs> <laughs> right, so 13 years in the industry, like you said, um, people would see you and they'd be like, okay, so this is Mixed Master Guys. Yeah, I believe yeah. the first time I saw you, I, I, wasn't, I didn't believe it was you because... Yeah. Most of the time, when we hear of a sound engineer or a music producer, mm -hmm. we are expecting to see someone like Hammer, yeah. someone who is old, yeah. you know, yeah. because yeah. we believe so, they yeah. understand yeah. you, like, you know. So, the first time I saw you, so it's good you actually said that. Yeah. And people see you and they expect to have seen someone who is like, quite no, old. Heavy, you know, mm -hmm. them right, like, hey. right. Because when I'm a bit me, she gets small boys yeah, when they come actually, in. Yeah. They want to and you see, the name Mix Master guy is very huge. Mm. You hear Mix Master, mm -hmm. then you see some cool guy. You understand? Yeah. So, how did you? I know that Gazi is your name, yeah, yeah. but the Mix Master Gazi probably came from the fact that yeah, you were doing so, mixes yeah, and all. But yeah. tell so us like the story. Way back in it. school, you know, it was like Benghazi. That's what friends used to call me, mm -hmm. my mates, and all that. And you know, when the music thing came in, I sat down and said, ah. Chala, you, you, you the big so you the play beat so what if you for be master mm -hmm. so at times you know people call me beat master guys and some people call me mix master guys okay i prefer the mix because mix generalize it all okay. with the beat it puts you in one category right and with you know me i try to learn how to get both the uh, beats and the mixing okay you understand that's what comes in when we talk of music production mm. so i'm a music full music producer mm. but we have other people outside there they are just an audio engineer or they are beat maker okay you understand so you have to make sure you can play beats mix a master song you know even write compose you know add mm -hmm. lyrics and all that that right. makes you a full package to become a music producer Wow. You understand? That's so much work. Yeah. Because <laughs> even from the documentary we saw, you put in drums mm -hmm. and things and the piano mm -hmm. and everything together. Like, it takes someone who is exactly. extra creative to and attentive. Right. So, what goes into making of a beat, a complete one for that matter? What goes into no, it? First of all, you just need a peace of mind okay. to think about what you want to do. You know, people have a way of, you know, getting inspirations. Mm. People have to do this or take this or do that and do this to get inspiration. But, you know, when it's work, you have to put yourself first in the mood. Like, 
no, I want to do something. I want to do an Afro beat. I want to do a reggae beat. Okay. At times you can listen to a couple of songs, like old songs, legendary songs, and have vibes from them. Mm. For me, at times, I listen to old songs, or when I'm even driving somewhere, maybe, you know, listening to radio or playing songs on my phone, something comes out, okay, I like a rhythm in this beat. I want to re-modify it into something. Okay. Or at times, I just be there and say, ah, this artist, I think I have something for this artist. Let me create. I can hear this bell. I can hear this rhythm. I can hear this tone. Let me just put it down. A stone? No, I can hear this bell. Okay. Like this kick or this rhythm in my, in oh, my mind. Head. And I'll okay. say like, okay, let me just put it down. So okay. I just enter the studio, boom, then. You know, and any day, any time you are ready. Because right now, if you even ask me to play, I'll just take my phone and just start. Because you have to be ready any time. Anytime. So when I get an idea, I can even take my phone, play something and record it down. Wow. You know, if I'm not even in the studio. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so so just like what we saw um, in the video, you yeah. said that um, you were traveling yeah, you were on, on a flight. trip, on a flight, That's so that you, know. you got everything. Yeah. So it means that when you're walking around, you carry your, your stuff. Exactly. You have everything. Everything with us. We have the mobile studio as well, you okay. understand? So that's the mobile studio. We just need to open it, plug it with one headphone or SPK and you're trust and me. You, you're and good. now... Almost all the hit songs that is coming out is not even from the bigger studio. Hmm. It's from like the mobile studio, like something like Activate, Stoneboy mm -hmm. and the video. Mm -hmm. We just lodge in one apartment and we just made Put the them magic. together. Not even coming to the whole studio, you understand? Wow. So that's it. Beautiful. Right. So then um, now we know you're the most wanted producer. Everybody wants to have you mm -hmm. mix or put his, his beats together for mm -hmm. them and all of that. I'm sure when you began, it wasn't like this. So let's take it back to the beginning. How you got yourself acquainted with these artists, yeah, yeah. how you got the contacts you have, how did you build on yourself to make sure that you became a household name when it came mm -hmm. to music production? Mm -hmm. So first of all, I think um, I believed in myself. Okay. And I tried to you know, work on a certain way because first of all, relationship also counts. Mm. I make sure anybody I come in contact with I, you know, I, I, I get that great relationship with the person okay. for us to proceed further. Okay. So at times, you know, you give beats to artists, like just on a free basis, like, mm. you know, or oh, maybe I have artists, hey, I have this beat for you. At times, they don't even want to listen to you, like, right. because you're upcoming and, you know, what do you have? Okay. So when they pay attention, yo, this guy is good. Then, you know, you got, get a chance to work, work with the them. person more. So we've been doing that from way back, you know. At times, we take their emails when we meet them outside. We send them the beats, you know, it takes some time, they will listen, they will not even reply, but when they mm -hmm. listen and it catches them, like, they will just reply, we'll okay, I've listened to your beat, is great, you know, so, we've been doing this thing back and forth, small, small, when we had like two, three songs, mm -hmm. way back, around the 2010, 11, 12, mm -hmm. popping up, then people started knowing you as a producer, yeah. and they will be calling you, oh, I need a production, I need a beat, mm -hmm. I need a production, so from there, you know, some cash starts coming, because, when you're there, somebody calls you for a production, definitely you will ask. Yeah. But what you're just saying, mm -hmm. then you know, you say you're charging. It started coming from there. Okay. You understand? Because way back, we didn't even know about much about music business. So at times, you give beats out, and that's all. And you know, the it, fact that your name is going to be out yeah. there, no one But one thing that people didn't also know about is when you give a person a beat and the mm -hmm. song is bigger out there the probability of people coming to you is high. Yeah. So even maybe you were not able to charge that A-list artist for that beat, you might the end up ending from the upcomings, you know, because of the production is you've put in out there, mm -hmm. everybody wants to run to you. Right. So that's where you also have to look smart and make some money there. Okay. If you don't look sharp, that's where you go back and say, ah, this artist, ah, this artist, this artist, you understand. Okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. so... <laughs> Is this about like this? Does this in any way relate to M M M O G and Shatawale's feud? Yeah, I think with their situation, they had a good relationship, and I think later on, it wasn't like how they started. Okay. So depending on what Shatta posted, M O G felt like, oh, but I was with you some time ago. Mm. I did all this thing for you, and now you are praising all these producers, saying, talking to them, you are going to spoil them with money and that. So you didn't do that for me too. So what mm. happened? Mm. You understand? So I think that's where. But they had a great, you know. But don't you also, just like you said, um, it's not even about how much you charge the person, mm -hmm. but the fact that your works are going out there and do speak for you to bring yeah, other exactly. people. Is it not the same with this, with their situation? The fact that oh, the song was out MOG there. is doing very well. I think right. you know, he's doing very well. So he's then, was, was, was the, the, his, his angle, I'm just asking yeah. as a neutral person, 
was it okay couldn't uh, couldn't he have also said that okay Shatter put the song out or the song was and big out there them, huh? and i got people coming back to me there was there was quite a number of people who came yeah. back to me because of that song yeah, so yeah. if he is going to spot other uh, producers and he doesn't own. add my name like wasn't probably that it to wasn't go? like that and probably today uh, there was maybe some agreement or there's some promises that maybe Shatter said to him you understand because when you watch within those things, he said, uh, what, what happened to the promise? Mm. So maybe due to that, that's where also all this thing came in. But trust me, um, I know he will get a couple of works, you know, producing all those right. hit songs for Shatter. Shatter. That is really the Africans, you know. If this is the person going at that moment, everybody try to go to mm -hmm. the person for something. Mm -hmm. So then the fact that... Um, he may not have taken money at the time, mm -hmm. but I know you, you, you have something called a split sheet yeah, you yeah. work with. Um, that means that whatever comes in, whatever revenue yeah. comes through, that's going to so be a split. So maybe that, that was what they decided on whatever they have to do. That, maybe that would be the promise that they decided, but maybe it was not really written down. Okay. And so per the understanding between them and maybe the communication was no more there. Mm. You know, everything cut off. But I know if it was written down, would have bring that thing out. Because okay. according to Shatter, she, he even posted something, a, a receipt of something that yeah. he think he did. He did, But right. maybe Emoji was not able to post something, you know, showing that you promised me on this, this or that. Or that. Right. So those are some of the things we are looking at. And with the split sheet, it is something that is going to guide us or is guiding us in okay. the work okay. to, sh to show the percentage or anything that anybody deserves on the production, okay. you understand? And so also having the split sheet is mm -hmm. not the end. Mm -hmm. You need to have a split sheet and also make sure you belong to a society. Okay. You understand? Because if you have a split sheet, you need to give it to your society. That's where they plug you in when to you get say money. say society, please? So society is like the um, a publishing society, you okay. know? Yeah, so like a royalty society. So we, here in Ghana, we have the Gamu mm -hmm. who takes the royalties mm -hmm. and we have other ones like the BMI, the Samro, and the PRS, you know? Mm -hmm. So when it belongs to such society, you give them your splits, they plug in, and they, they have a, with a split with the society, it comes with a special codes okay. for everybody. Okay. So they plug in your code, you know, associated to the song. Mm. So when the song plays out there, it generates income for you. For you. So okay. if you don't do that, you just take the agreement and go and put it in your drawer. And, and nothing comes with it. Nothing happens. Okay, so are you using that? Are you, are yeah, you yeah, doing exactly. that? So everything is working everything right is on your working. side. And one thing that we all don't know about it. it's not about the artist also trying to be like being wicked or not trying to give i know many of the artists don't mm -hmm. belongs to those platforms trust mm -hmm. me i did a song with the artist and i said okay this is a special please give me your ipi number that is the code that when you register with the company the society you mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. give me your ipi number until now the person has not was not able to give me meaning the person doesn't belong to any society so okay so it, with such a situation what do you do do you yeah, then I still charge put in my outright? own no i still put in my own until the person also comes from any society he will still go back to claim whatever he has, has already been made yes oh okay and but, it works yeah it works but if i go out there and claim 100 percent right of it the person is not getting anything anything right these are some of the things that we also have the that issue with the artist at times the artists go and claim Hundred percent right. Without you, with that, also knowing maybe it's not their fault. It's, it's their maybe their management or whatever mm. that they also handling their business aspect. Okay. At okay. times they don't also ask because the artist just brought the song. Mm -hmm. They'll just go and register it like and that. The artist needs to tell them, okay, this song. There was even a songwriter on it who added lyrics. Let's give him ten percent. Mm. There's a producer. Let's give him twenty. There's mm. a guitarist. Let's give him ten. Right. So we don't go and explain all this thing. Your, your label will also go and request for the hundred percent. Okay, Understand? but who is this artist you worked with, and the person has still not been able to produce their? Is it IPI? Code? Yeah, the IPI number. Yeah, who is it? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Oh, I think we are having a conversation. <laughs> a whole lot of artists in Ghana they don't even have, belong to a society. Mm. I, I tell you. Okay, so we will quickly take a look at a video of yours. But before we go, um, talking about how long you've been in the industry and everything, the fact that you've been working and all, what song would you say was your breakthrough? What what production? You see, coming at that time, you know, way back in Tema, Tema is like, you know, tell everybody music is alive. Mm -hmm. Tema was like, you know, and it's still. It still is. The, yeah. But there's music city that, yeah. you know, we all. So I think within that year, 2010, 11, 12, that time, 
there were a couple of songs which were banging in the same time. I, I did one for Skin Legend, for Boy Wadon, mm. for Stone Boy, and um, Stay J, okay. and Dr. Crime. So within that time, that year, all the songs were like there. But I know Pull Up was, became boom because that Pull Up also put Stone Boy to mm -hmm. another level, yeah. you know. So yeah. that was very huge at that time, but At there was a time. couple of songs which was also making it in terms of like Stay J, My Baby, featuring r 2 b and all that, you understand? Okay. So, that time was great. It was okay, great. so um, with Pull Up and what it did for both you and Stoneboy, yeah. is that the reason why you both have a very cordial relationship? Because we see you guys are really <laughs> Yeah, you know, we, we did magic then. We know we always can do magic. That's why we are still working. Okay, okay. All right, we did magic and we know we can still do magic. That's why we are still working. Let's sure. take a very quick video break. We'll be right back more than a cordial relationship you know and of course fantana's latest song no darling was produced by the one and only most wanted producer Me master Gazi. Gazi. right so i see you have a lot of fun with your doing your production yeah that's right. what i'm saying you know, at times we put ourselves in the Into movie it, doing right it. crazy right so then at a the point it, it's no longer work but it's more like you having fun yeah yeah okay fantana will tell you when we were recording this song was crazy you it, know, was it was crazy, fun yeah. you know fantana is like you know lovely girl trying to you know so yeah, at times yeah. you have to put hey go go and do it it's okay. not okay do it like this you know, i'm tired oh. you are going to sing it because this is what we have to do this now yeah. like, it was fun you know at yeah. times say, okay you manager go and set up if you don't go i won't record mm -hmm. you know it, mm -hmm. then we put that energy that vibe so you see you it's come out way. with something it's not about straight and you know yeah do it and you yeah you know, you yeah put, because I know um, last Friday Fantana was here okay. and she said on show business with Chrissy Estelle that this has been one of her favorite studio times and moments. Like Whoa. it was an amazing time amazing. working with you yeah. and all. So of Try course, everybody it. knows that she really did have fun. Exactly. And I know the song is fire. Everybody it's can fire. attest to it's it. Fire. So it's yeah, fire. I pray this, this, like it keeps going like that, you know. She, no, she's come like with that. fire. Yeah, we, you know. We are still cooking some bangers. In oh, the <laughs> so take this time. We should be ready for hey, you guys. Thing. Thing it's going to be crazy. We are watching out. We are watching out. We are watching out. Right. I see a lot of messages coming through. And we'll go read some in a bit. But um, your relationship, aside Stoneboy, we know you have a, a, a very nice relationship with a lot of the artists. Mm -hmm. And one person we know of is Pato Rankin. Hey, why I say? Why I say? How did you <laughs> meet him? How did you build this relationship you have? So, you know, Pato has been like a Ghana boy. He's schooled here. Yeah. You know, work here, you know, moving around. And Pato doesn't really speak to you, but he speaks Ghana. Mm. Because he was staying at the Osu Teshi Labadi side. That's one standing right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Teshi Osu. So, Pato is like a girl boy. So, you know, way back when he also picked up, you know, being that, I think that the first time we met was on the, when he won the Artist of the Year on the Vodafone, Vodafone Music Awards. Music. Okay. So, backstage, they performed together with Stone and all that. I said, mm. yo, bro, this is crazy, man. You killed it. Mm. And trust me, he said, Charlie, I love the production. You know, to do more of this so then we linked up mm. we went back to nigeria we communicated to him. when time was due you know i went to nigeria and we started the whole thing oh okay and you you started. went to nigeria for it exactly okay so i went to nigeria stayed in the house for a couple of time we started all this thing and it's wow. going very well and you know with now that's what i'm saying relationship is the best when mm -hmm. you know how to build it well now it's it's over production or mm -hmm. you know I do a lot, whole lot of things with him, you know, we travel, go here, go here, at times go with him alone. Mm -hmm. I know when you are artists, at times you have to take some duties as a manager, do this and all that. So, you know, it's, a, it's above the whole thing. And also, at times, you know, when it comes to his, his production, mm -hmm. I make sure that, you know, I'm the, like the master of the production, make sure mm -hmm. everything is right for him before he steps on stage. Right. But we we'll go to shows with the live band and make sure, I get, make sure that he has the right mic. Treat his vocals so well, you know, step on stage so crazy. Wow. And when I go to somewhere like the club or whatever, I even DJ for him and hey. all that. Wow. So you understand. So it's wow. the whole vibe. Wow, that's beautiful. I think this this is the kind of relationship that we need yeah. to promote yeah. in our industry, yeah. you know, uh, brotherhood and all exactly. of that. Right. So I think um, we've noticed something. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the local artists or our Ghanaian artists, sorry. Um, when you produce or with your production, we have your tag in it, but with the foreign production, it's mostly out of it. No, am I, I, am I right it's or wrong? it is at times the, 
the producer mentions your name, like maybe Stonewall, Mix Master, Gazi. Gazi. Okay. It's already mentioned. So yeah. at times here. Yeah. And it comes randomly. We, we can do something and forget, oh, it's like this one. The pressure alone said, maybe your name is not. And me, particularly, from way back, I wasn't even putting names in songs. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not like it's deliberate, but it just yeah. happens as yeah. and when. Okay. So last year, I think we did, during the COVID, we did. Um, Behind us, beat or soccer, they organize something mm -hmm, like behind mm -hmm, the beats mm -hmm. with me, the producers. Producer. <laughs> and I was playing songs, and people said, Oh, so you so did this, this is your song, you did okay. this, you did that, you did because I, I wasn't really pushing or putting my name in You're the song for everybody to. So, every day, you know, I want surprises. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't, I, me at times, I don't, I don't see how people surprise, but I always want to surprise people. Okay, oh, That's so great. you did this one, oh, so I did that one. A whole lot of songs were out and people didn't even know. And a friend called mm -hmm. and said, Oh, so you did Samin Oba, mm -hmm. Mawari Oba. Oba I said, yeah. Yeah. But classic song, but nobody knew. Like, if I didn't tell you that I was the one who produced that song, you wouldn't know. You so understand? you like surprising people and exactly. you also surprise so you with it your keeps, videos. It keeps you going and, you know, before people realize, Oh, it is him. It's before him. people, yeah. So that's just recently that the team was saying, Oh, put your name so that people will know it is yeah. you. So I'm trying, I'm trying to put it, but it's like, me. I know, but you see, when you do the good work, it's, it will come by itself. Good work sells itself. Mm. So I don't know why my name is not in the song. And then when somebody will ask Stoma, that, ah, Stoma, who produce Activate? And Stoma mm. won't say it's Gazi. Well, that's true, though. You understand? That's so true. I want that thing, you know, to become a for oh, you. Really? You understand? But okay. automatically, when someone oh, it is Gazi, okay, it is him. Mm. Somebody also will even like the song because it's you somebody will even you not, know, not like even like it. the song because maybe you know you don't have vibe with you mm. but you may love the song before you realize it's the person that you don't have vibe with that produces it right you understand right. so right. we're just doing it for the love and making sure that we're doing it for the best okay so talk about um somebody may or may not like you um do you have people in the industry who do not like you oh you know as it stands nobody will come to you and say me i don't like you yeah but ha have you say. had people who have showed you that okay I know she doesn't like maybe I'll be too no or something, but me too, I don't see it like that. And anywhere <laughs> I go, they say I'm almost the, the calm person in, in that place. Like somebody say me at the rush. At the but side. you know the rush. How how are the rush? What is I, rush self? Like rush energy drink or something. Hey, 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 hey. free address. Please bring free him pro, free pro. Bring him um, a sheet, let him pay. Right. But the reason I'm asking is in our industry today. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of artists against other artists. Um, we have producers. We have people pinning themselves against each other. Mm -hmm. Other people pinning others against each other and all of that. That's what I'm asking. Um, and people tend to ride on um, feuds, or should I say, yeah. they say beef. We yeah. call it beef now. Yeah. And most Ghanaians enjoy it. You know, At least it gives us something exciting about for a couple of days and all that. How do you find our industry? And do you think this is the way to go? You see, with this beef thing, it is normal because when you go to other countries, it's, when we do it, we have to understand ourselves and make business out of it. Mm. You know, but Ghanaians, we do that. We can all use Toa and Shetta as one example. <laughs> right. You know, there was a big show for them, mm -hmm. this concert, whatever concerts mm -hmm. clash, and they, there was a whole lot of things in mm -hmm. there. You understand? So yeah. we can do the beef, entertain the industry, but it shouldn't be personal. Mm. We can talk backstage and, you know, Charlie, Charlie, let's give them. We visited that Lumba one day and he said that time with Nane Champo, that time with Nane Champo and all that. It wasn't like that. They can sit home and plan and they will come and tell us outside there. And we would think they were really like You understand enemies. that time song back to back and all yeah. that. He said it was nothing like that. Like wow. You know, every day they sit back and they they'll be eating and they'll be reading messages and they'll mm. making money out of it. Wow. But do we know how to make money out of it? Our generation, our current. Yeah, that's what I said. We don't know. Like we are now picking up because we take it personal. Right. You understand? We take it personal and we be like, yeah, like mm -hmm. we really have mm -hmm. fight. Mm -hmm. But wow. at times it's not that. Okay. All right. So now, um, music artists, producers, if shows are happening. Your works are being celebrated. People get to hear of your works. They enjoy the music mm -hmm. and all. Coronavirus hits last year. It hits last year, sorry. And we've been home since. No events, no shows, nothing. But of course, we hear the music online and all that. Yeah. But you happen to be someone who attends shows and sometimes DJ yeah. for artists. How would you say it has affected you? With the coronavirus, I think it has affected everybody. You know, some most <laughs> businesses as well. And 
what helps more was because we are also home, streaming were more. Yeah. People were streaming instead. With this corona thing, we, we got to introduce or know more yeah. about virtual, virtual something. Stuff, you understand? Yeah. So through that, you know, streaming services became, you know, that gave another opportunity for streaming services to become big. So even now that people can do few shows, mm -hmm. we are all still based on the streaming service, but it's not so big out there yet to play a big show. But are you are you still making enough from the streaming sites? Are you, so is enough? That is, you see, with this music thing, first it was like the selling of the CDs and all that, mm -hmm. and now it went digitally, you know, yeah. without CD, and still people are even still selling the CD, but then mm -hmm. the streaming is where the money is coming from now, then okay. maybe shows. So those two things, and maybe endorsement or deals, you yeah. understand? If there's no shows and make sure you and promote it well online, mm -hmm. trust me, you will get good money from there because at that moment everybody is home. And you know, with the networks as well, streaming that time they had they had money. Money mm -hmm. was going to them because everybody you have to be home, you have to make call. Even yeah. on meetings, I don't need to come and meet you anymore. Mm -hmm. Zoom meetings, Zoom call there. meetings, and all and this internet. Right. So right, you understand. Right. So through that you can make some money. Mm. And it's, it's been good so far. We are trying to understand the streaming service. Okay, okay, beautiful. We are trying to understand the streaming service, is what he says. Okay, um, I'm about to go do some messages from you for Master Gazi in our conversation so far. But enough of the industry talk and the business mm -hmm. talk and everything. Let's take it back to your mom's name is Auntie Abna, right? Yeah, growing up with Auntie Abna. Let's take it back to you growing up from home, childhood, school, everything. Let's get to know the pests now. <laughs> <laughs> well, simple as always, you know, mostly. I don't know why it's like that, but it's always like that. Hmm. You, do you understand what I mean? No. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, staying with your parents okay. is, is so great. You know, growing. Some of us, some of us they didn't get a chance to grow with their real parents and all that. But if you have the chance to grow with them to a certain state that you know that okay you are old enough to take care of yourself, it's been it's very great. Growing with mommy and daddy was great. Taking care of me and me, I'd be like, no, I like this. I don't like this person. Like so, if I don't like this, I don't like it. If I like this, that's what you know. And I make sure that I always be on the right path. They also direct me. Right. The only thing is like, I'm too. So they don't they don't really understand because you can't predict me how why oh maybe today our son will do it but before you realize i finished doing this thing yeah on to another thing ah you understand okay you won't see me doing it but before you realize exams will come in like boom okay so where did you school um jss from uh better best academy inside tema focus and uh tema methodist secondary mm. then ghana institution of journalism oh, you know, okay. that one that one day yeah, because that time the music was coming so i do it part to part you know then pa. okay you understand you move <laughs> <laughs> okay interesting right so then um from school growing up and everything we know okay fine now we know how it started for you and how you're here today i know you've got something going currently you're up with a new project you want to do is it an, an engineering class or yeah, something yeah, like an engineering class like okay. a workshop so, so that's it. been in the industry for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. I've learned a whole lot of things. I've acquired some skills, you know, mm -hmm. some knowledge and some business ideas as well. Okay. And I've seen the young ones coming up very good, you know, very promising. And I felt like it is time that I have to impact, you know, in some of these young ones. Mm -hmm. So I announced it out there that okay, I want some few, you know, good producers to come through for me to teach them about some vibes. Okay. And the team said that it is something that is going to be great if we do it on a on a proper scale. Mm. So we've, we've tried to do a master class. Okay. So with this master class, I'm going to teach um, people uh, like sound engineers and producers how to make beats or how to even make sure your beats are well leveled. Okay. How to mix and master your songs. How to make sure that your your song sounds well locally and internationally because mm. they are just they just have the idea of trying to produce but they don't know more much about it so it's just some tips that i'm going to put them through so that they can get it well okay. so it is time that all these producers will also be there and you know you don't need to be like oh also i found somebody into mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because with our time we didn't get some of the pay for to you know to help put this in, yeah. so if we are there now we have to put them so that it will help our industry 
to get good production, good sound output, and you know, take us to the international wow. market as well. Wow, that's beautiful. But is it open for just producers or anybody who knows nothing about production? For now, it's, it's open for producers and oh, sound yeah. engineers. Okay, you understand, okay. so that we, we have to because that's my sector. I need to, you know, make sure that I get the upcoming very right mm. before they get to that stage. Mm. But I'm going to talk about more things, you know, with the music business itself. There are going to be a couple of, you know, celebrity or industrial players to also support, you know, okay. artists like Adam will be there to talk to the people. Artists like Easy Baby will be there to talk. DJ okay. like Varosky will come. Producer like um, J Master J will be passing through to talk oh, to the okay. people. You know, media personality like J Foley will be there to also talk to the people. So nice. It's a whole package. And uh, I have a, a distribution company, High Vibe Distribution. They will talk mm. to the people about how to distribute your song, how to make money on your beats as mm. well. Mm. Beautiful. So what does it take to be a part of it? Yeah, you just have to register online okay. for just 300 Ghana CD and then... It's done, and the venue will be at East Lagoon. The auditorium is the Kobe's event center. Okay, you just come through on the 13th of this month. Oh, so if you want to register, there's a link on my Instagram bio, Facebook, or Twitter bio. You can just go and click on the on it and okay. just register. Okay. And there's a number there you can call if you have any. Thing that you want to know about okay okay that's that's beautiful god bless you for this initiative i know it would help a lot of people yeah. so thank you right so we'll do some messages before you go um this one says sup miss master gazi please i want to work under you to be like you if you can give me the chance i always follow your music production at the film rough he did yeah, you yeah. be you dope just, you just register and come true okay so you had it for yourself hey my name is Franco Vibes from Ashaman. He is my sharp producer. I'm even trying to drop a single there. Okay. Straight, straight. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm uh, Cheeky Wolverines from Ho City. My shout outs to Tom DeFrick. Please play Lario. Um, okay. Let me come up. Hi, my name is Ama Special, the woman who inspired. Okay. Hi, this is Ama Special again. Please tell Yapuno that I love him so he should keep. That's not Yapuno. <laughs> This is Miss Master Gazi. Uh, Why is there a resemblance? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, okay, we'll so. The first artist. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the first artist. But. Hi, my name is Calypse Eminado from Biru. I just give thanks to my mother, and also she is fantastic. She's a fantastic woman. I want you to play me Stone Boy Mama. Okay, we'll do that for you on Afrofuse with DJ Parker Rich. Um, hello, please. Master Gazi. Hey. Hey. Masa. He means uh, Masagazi. Masa. <laughs> you are too much. I'll count you record. Hey, I'll okay. count you record. Okay. Um, he That's understands. So. All right. Hi, please. I want his number. I'm an upcoming artist. Okay, please DM him. Okay. Or you put, hold on. You put out his Instagram handle mm. and then you can DM him. And look, for you, you're looking good today. Thank you very much. Hey, you pull. <laughs> Boss, Ipapi, please, I want to be a producer. I will be very grateful if you can get to me, if you can get me to meet you in person to discuss about it because I really like and want to learn how to be a masterpiece producer like you, please. I'm really serious, Just please. to register, that's all. He says register, please. Okay, hi for you. My name is Eric from Suhum. I like your show. Thank you. Please, I want you to interview Shatawale for me and play Activate for me. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Shata will be here soon. Um, um, hello, Shatawale. This one day, every day they give you story. This one, you see how your people they ask of you. Mm -hmm. So we they beg, Wale, do all they come. Hello, please. Good afternoon. I really love this guy. May God bless him. Wow. I am Tofik. Please kindly tell him why I need his brother's number, please. He said you should DM him on Instagram. I beg you. So please do that. Okay. Last week when he came, that's what he said. Last message for the day. Um, hi, my name is Evans Arthur, popularly known as Kofi Atta, and I want his number, by the way. Good job. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, too. Okay. Uh, my name is Papaja from Accra Teshi. I love your preference and your hair. I like the show. Thank you very, very much. Um, Gazi, the messages that have come, you see, is unending, but my time is up. Yeah. So I will leave the rest and forward them to your phone. <laughs> Whilst you are producing and mixing in the yeah, studio, we'll be you'll be reading <laughs> as well, right? So quickly, please, that's your camera, so you can put out your last your final words for the day and also any special shout outs and messages to your loved ones 
And your social media handles. Yes, yeah, so you know, you can follow me on at Master Gazi on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Right now, you know, it's still COVID time. We need to make sure we take care, take the precaution, and the vaccine too. No, we forgo take. Are you taking it? I mean, it's a process. So when you get to attend, no, you do it. I mean, you you not take it? No. Hey, you know, reach our ten. So if you reach out, we will take up. And make sure, make sure you stay calm, home. You know, learn. And it's about the master class production. You need to come through as a music producer. If you want to be a great music producer like me, or even more like other producers like Qubit, Kwa, Pietus, everybody. This is the time for you. You need to come through and learn something from Mix Master Gazi. Let's make sure we take Ghana to another level, straight up. Okay, so he says follow him at Miss Master Gazi on Instagram. Simple as that. Thank you so much for watching um, the show and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you missed out from the earlier part, you can catch the repeat at 10 p.m. tonight. Is there any call number anybody can Yeah, so you can call management on 24 nine nine five two three seven zero for any inquiries you know to work with next master guys kindly put it out one more time zero two four nine nine five two three seven zero zero two four nine nine five two three seven zero